Alright guys, uh, this is tutorial number 4 for Silent Install Point 2 and in this tutorial we show you how to do a simple test bench with 4 inputs and 4 outputs so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing you do is right click on your file and do add new source or actually add new source and then go ahead and select Verla text fixture Name your test bench. Logic. My name is. Okay. And then put next. Make sure that your file is selected here. Press next. And next. And then you guys will get this. This automatically created by Silent. This here is your time scale for your physical test bench, which you will see after you run your test bench. Uh, this is just the name of your test bench, uh, the name of your inputs and outputs. By directionals, you guys don't have to worry about now because those are for inputs that are inputs and outputs in the same wire. This here is an extantiation of your file. And if we keep going down. You have an, an initialization of your input just to make sure that you start at zero. What I'm going to do is first write a comment for input for my next step. Input declaration. Okay, so tab and then do initial. In and then do an end just so you guys don't forget it and then make a space between the end and the initial begin or and then do a tap do pound 10 for 10 nanoseconds to wait and then a equals to zero semicolon and b equals to zero semicolon c equals to zero semicolon d equals to zero semicolon and these are your inputs that you guys have on your truth table so basically you're gonna have to continue like right here I have a equals a is, is I have zero 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 for the inputs and then the next the next input I'm gonna put is a zero 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 one and so on so but first we have to do the display so I'm gonna put pound 10, display, pound 10, and then money sign, and then display. Got a display. And then parentheses. And I'm just gonna put inputs A equals to percent percent B comma and then b equals to percent b comma c equals to percent b comma d equals to percent b and then i'm gonna put a line there and i'll put I'm gonna go ahead and declare my outputs. Um, I start with W equals to percent B comma and then X equals to percent B comma Y equals to percent B comma Z equals to percent B and then close your parentheses comma and then just declare your inputs and outputs A B comma C comma D comma W comma X comma Y comma Z and then close your parentheses and write a semicolon so right now I have not um I'm gonna I keep going with this, but 
what I'm gonna do is uh, space them out for early so they have they look nice but this um, percent B is for to see your inputs and outputs as binary and you could change it to float or whatever silence supports and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and continue I'm gonna go ahead and pause this for now and continue with it so I don't waste time all right guys so your test bench should look something like this this is the original stuff and uh, looks something like this your inputs you should have your inputs your display and your inputs your display your inputs your display your inputs and your display so that's how your test bench should look once you have it like this uh, go ahead and if you close it or just come back to the window make sure you're on simulation on your design window check for simulation I mean check for your syntax on your behavioral on your test bench make sure everything is good and if you get a green check you're ready to do the simulation behavior model for the window to open so you could check your your inputs up here or your inputs down here it's up to you whatever you guys want to check it so make sure you check it make sure everything is good and running and that's it so good luck guys and have fun bye, -bye.